Okay, here I am again. I'm going to make up for two things. The crappy review I did before and not putting up videos in a while. So two, probably today. I'm uploading them today. I'm making them today. Hopefully they'll be up today. Another album review and a redo of Glass Cloud's amazing album, The Royal Thousand, which I'm, I'm still obsessed with. This is such a good album. Okay, track by track, here we go. Okay, so, um... Okay, it begins off, it it, be, it begins with White Flag, which kind of has like a, it's a song with kind of like a deftones -y feel on it, it's kind of different from every, that's the thing with this album, like almost every song it sounds like a completely different genre, like, but they still kind of like connect in some way. White Flag, um, is definitely like a progressive, like, deftones -y type feel to it, I, I, it's a really good song too, I don't know what it's about, but it's, it was, Forgot to say, I got the chance to see them live um, on the road to the New England and Metal Hardcore Fest, Metal and Hardcore Fest, and I went for them. Probably the best thing I could have ever experienced. I met all of the guys. Um, oh yeah, let me just go on a, a a happy rant real quick. I we parked there. They their trailer was outside. They're all like in my face joshua is walking this way as i get out of the damn car uh, nobody else was freaking out i was like fangirling to death but then i i'm like i see jerry and chad and um travis and then i walk as i'm in the line i'm like i'm gonna go stalk them for a little bit so i go back and as i get out chad comes into my face ew sorry about that no he 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 inches towards me as I go and I almost bump into him and he like shook my hand. He's trying so hard not to be awkward because I watched that Brian Stars interview. I and luckily I wasn't later but at first I was like we were watching a band play or waiting for we, we were waiting for a band to go on and Travis walked in from this side and he's like it's cold outside but I was so awkward I didn't know what to say and then I met them all they're really nice they signed my poster in there um so did Landon, by the way, of the last video. But, uh, yeah. So now that that's done, I'm gonna get back to, re um, reviewing it. So White Flag is an awesome song. I don't understand what it's about, but it sounds amazing and it's really good. Um, If He Dies, He Dies is the very first song I heard on the whole album. And, um, I always liked the beginning of it, and then for a while I'm like, eh, Glass Cloud sucks, because I was a big of Mice and Men fan. And not only that, I just didn't like their music, I don't know why. It kind of sounded like a bunch of mess at first. And then it's a grower. The whole album is a grower in general. And then so you go back to it and it's like, wow, this is actually amazing. Like, I always thought his voice was incredible in it. But then, like, I listen to it more and more. And, I like, you hear the harmonies and everything. And it's just like, oh. It's, it makes me feel like I'm flying. I just love uh, The whole album does. But this one especially. I know it's a single, but it's a good single. Whatever. Uh, th they're singles. Um... Uh, it's about divorce, um, and you can definitely tell it has kind of like a depressing feel of it. I didn't like the music video very much, but I mean, it's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a great album. Uh, it's a great song. It is a great album, but that, that's an awesome song. I'm going, I'm blabbing too much. Falling in Style is about sex, basically, and it's awesome. I, this song had to grow on me too. I was like, eh, it's okay. And then I don't know how I thought it, it was just okay. It's so good. He, he's his vocals are amazing on it. The bass. If you listen to the beginning, the first verse, and you hear the bass, oh my gosh, it's crazy. It doesn't sound like it should fit. That's something I like about this band. I. But that's something I like about this band. Like, nothing sounds like it should fit together, but it it just ends up sounding amazing, and it's awesome. Especially from May to now, which I will get to at the end because it's the last damn song. Next song is Ivy and Wine, which is the second song I heard by them, like, or second song I got into them with. Um, it's so good. It's about Jesus, I'm pretty sure. The, uh, no, it's obviously about God, or Jesus, and it's it's just an awesome sounding song in general. It's so good. The music itself is beautiful, especially with that breakdownish thing that they do at the, at the end. Um, the chorus is amazing. His vocals in that are amazing. Um... The lyrics are beautiful and amazing. Once again, it, like I'm a I'm a Catholic, so it's like you know. Um, so yeah, that's a good song. 
Prelude for a Ghost and All Along. Okay, so Prelude for a Ghost is just a very atmospheric intro into All Along, and All Along isn't one of my favorites, but it's definitely a really great song. Um, I mean, it's not bad, it's just not that good either. It's, it's, I like it, but it's not, it's just kind of, Prelude for a Ghost and All Along are just like the same thing. And it's, it's, it's still really good, but I just don't listen to it as much as the other songs. She is well, nothing can be ill. Third song I got into them with. Such a good song, once again. Especially the end with whatever Josh was doing on that damn guitar. Oh my gosh, he's crazy. And he's so talented. I don't know. Give a black person a guitar and they'll just... You already know they're talented. If you see a black guy holding a guitar, you know they're talented. It's so crazy. I, I just think metal should all be from black guys. In all honesty, that's... I don't know. It's, they're crazy. Um, Counting Sheep is uh, um, is another really good song that I had to grow on. Um, um, the chorus is amazing. The It was especially fun live because we all got to yell that one part. I don't swear, so I'm not going to say it. But... Um, yeah, but it was it's such a good song and it's it's beautiful and everything. Memorandum, one of a, another song that I had to grow on a lot. Um seriously, it's probably my favorite um out of all of them at the moment. Like I used to I used to just not get into it at all and now that I listen to it more and more and more and more I start to love it like even more. His vocals are amazing. The music, the instrumental is amazing. I wish I could find an instrumental of this. It's so good. Um, it's once again, it sounds like nothing should fit, and it's it's so it does, and it's just like wow, it's just crazy. And I don't understand the lyrics. Once again, I I guess I don't know. I didn't really ever think about it, but um, it's still a great song either way. And then from May to now, um, probably another one of my favorite songs on this album. So atmospheric once again so not sounding like it should fit together but it does it's just an awesome song um it's a great way to finish the album too because it has the whole like it's kind of calm at the beginning so it's like eh, this is kind of a weird song to end off with and then by the end it's just like never mind because it has that whole outro thing it's still calm but like the whole um like deep guitar genty type sound is awesome in it and it's it's awesome so this album is fantastic. I can't give it a rating because I suck at ratings, like I said. But it's... Jesus Christ. Do you see that light? Okay. It just... It, it, it was... It got shy. Okay. But yeah. It's seriously, awesome album. Album. I, If I could give it a 10 out of 10, I would. Um, same with The Plot and You. Like, I would... I love these albums so much. And, uh, yeah. Seriously, amazing. Go look them up if you're... Well, look this one up, at least, if you're a metal fan. Because, I don't know if you like metalcore, it's very... people. Some people are like, eh, metalcore, blah, 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 rise records, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you gotta broaden your horizons a little bit. So, check them both out if you want. But, I love them both so much, and they're, they're amazing. So, I'm so glad I got to get both of them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have more reviews. I'll probably do, like, all three Seosin albums, since they're my favorite band of all time. I don't have the Grey EP, which pisses me off, but, you know, um, yeah. I love Seosin. Fav the best band ever. Seriously. But thanks for watching, guys, and, um, sorry for being gone for so long. I really didn't think I was gonna come back, but I did. I'm kind of working on my band right now, which is called The Days Left. I, um, you can look them up on YouTube. I don't know if you'll find it, but, uh, yeah, it's just me. It's not it's not very good yet, but like I don't have a like a professional recording studio, so it's like whatever. But I I'm proud of it and uh yeah. So thanks for watching guys. See ya.